Financial institutions have partnered with San Dollar officials to provide an easy payment system for consumers. One of them, Mobile Assist, and creating a wallet with them to participate in the program is rather easy. Just go to the App Store on your mobile device, follow the instructions, and you can begin making payments with the San Dollar with the click of a button. Mobile Assist marketing consultant, Selena Archer. Currently, we have over 101,000 downloads. Um, in the last month or so, we've seen another uh, 2,000 users that have actually created uh, wallets and registered on the app. So we're looking at about um, eight, eight to 9,000 wallets just in our ecosystem alone. And that spike, like I said, um, just indicates to us that people are very much ready for digital payments as well as sand dollar. Currently, um, or before we had the sand dollar launch, customers would load their wallet with their debit or credit card. Now they have an additional pen, uh, payment method. So it's kind of like if you look at, you know, we accept Visa, Discover, um, American Express. Now we also accept sand dollar. The Sand Dollar Project officially launched in Exuma nearly two years ago and why companies hit a snag from the COVID-19 pandemic. However, Sand Dollar's project manager, Kimwood Mott, told us that the relaunch last year, October, has attracted many more customers. Well, because we did the pilot in Exuma, we've seen a very large number of wallets being distributed primarily in Exuma. But over the recent, I would say, two months, We've seen the new Providence wallet numbers um, start to catch up with the Exum wallet numbers. And I think it may have surpassed it recently. At the end of last month, I would say that sand dollars in circulation um, is somewhere around $200,000, which is up about 175% um, since we launched um, back in October.